In this video, I want to discuss the relationship of the kidneys to the abdominal aorta and the inferior vena cava, and also discuss some of the blood vessels associated with the abdominal aorta. So we're going to do a little bit of renal system and a little bit of the cardiovascular system. On this model, we can see the two left and right kidneys and the suprarenal gland, also sometimes known as the renal or the adrenal gland, on top of the kidney. Now here we have section through the kidney, so you can only see a little bit of the suprarenal gland with the cortex and the medulla. So we're not really going to focus on that structure on this model, but I want to show the relationship of the kidneys and the muscular tube that drains the kidneys into the urinary bladder. This is known as the ureter. So there's a ureter for the right kidney and the left kidney. Also notice at the hilum of the kidney, we have the ureter leaving the kidney. Most anterior structure is the renal vein, then the renal artery. So the renal vein draining into the inferior vena cava will be anterior to the renal arteries. So for the renal systems on this model, I want you to notice the kidneys. I want you to notice the position of the renal artery and the renal vein, and notice the position of the ureter. Now, the left kidney is slightly higher than the right kidney, and the left kidney is closer to the abdominal aorta than is the right kidney. So the left renal artery should be longer than the right renal artery. Just the opposite is true of the veins. The inferior vena cava is on the right side of the body, so the right renal vein and the left renal vein will be of different lengths. So here we see the left renal vein is longer than the right renal vein because it has to travel further to get to the inferior vena cava. Now I'll focus on the vascular structures from the abdominal cavity. At this point we have just passed through the diaphragm and we now have the abdominal aorta. The abdominal aorta has three main branches to supply abdominal viscera. The first branch is found at T12 vertebral level. This is known as the celiac trunk, and the celiac trunk divides into three branches. The common hepatic artery, the left gastric artery, and the splenic artery. The three branches of the celiac trunk at the T12 vertebral level. At the L1 vertebral level, we can see the superior mesenteric artery leaving the abdominal aorta. It has several branches that we will not talk about in this video. Also at L1, we can see the renal arteries leaving the abdominal aorta. So we had, some, we had an unpaired artery at T12, an unpaired artery at L1, then we drop down to L3. At the third lumbar vertebral level, we see the inferior mesenteric artery. It will take care of the lower portion of the colon. It branches into three branches we will not talk about here. So T12, L1. There is something happening at L2, but we do not see it on this model. Then L3 is inferior mesenteric. L4, the abdominal aorta bifurcates into the left and right common iliac arteries. However, if we look more closely, we will see that the abdominal aorta also has paired vessels at each level. The first paired vessels of the abdominal aorta actually go out onto the bottom of the diaphragm. We can see them here. These are known as the inferior phrenic arteries. The inferior phrenic arteries. Then if we drop down a little, we're, we have arteries associated with this suprarenal gland. They depict them on this side of the model, not the other side, but they are on both sides. The suprarenal gland has a very extensive blood supply. Here we can see, just barely on this model, what is called the superior suprarenal artery. It is actually a branch of the inferior phrenic artery that will come down into the suprarenal gland. Off of the side of the abdominal aorta, we have the middle suprarenal artery, and coming up from the renal artery into the suprarenal gland, the inferior suprarenal artery. These are all paired vessels. There will be, that means there are two, one on each side. So again, the inferior phrenic arteries, they take care of the inferior surface of the diaphragm. 
Off of the inferior phrenic, we can see the superior suprarenal artery. Off of the abdominal aorta, the middle suprarenal artery. And off of the renal arteries, the inferior suprarenal artery. Those are the structures that we can see on this anatomical model.